Okay, next we're going to be needle sculpting the face a little bit to change the shape. So we're going to mark our points with pins. Point number one at the top of your left eye. Make sure your pins are actually touching the eye. Point number two at the bottom of your left eye. Point number three is going to be at the top of your right eye. And point number four is going to be at the bottom of your right eye. I do have a written PDF pattern for this and there's detailed photos and diagrams for this section but this is where your pins go. So you can see it's directly at the top and the bottom of the eye. If you look from the front you can see it's in the center of the eye that we have inserted these pins. You're then going to need a longer needle that will be able to travel between the eyes and length of your mist yarn on it. And we're going to use these four points to sculpt our face. Now, for me, these pins tend to get in the way, but let's see. I'm going to enter in a random spot and I'm going to come out here at point one. Now, you want to make sure that you actually come out right next to the eye itself. Take the pin out, so it won't be in my way. You want to leave a tail hanging out. It's very important that you leave this tail. You're going to need it later on. We're then going to enter by point two. Take it out of the way. We're going to exit here by point four. Get out of the way. Now you'll see as we pull through that we've got this little loop of yarn there. We want it to fall to the outside of the eye, not the inside, like that. And hang on to your short tail while you pull on the long one. You'll see it actually disappears under the eye. That's exactly what you want. You're then going to enter by point three here at the top and we're going to exit back by point one. And we're just going to pull the yarn through. Again we've got that stitch of yarn loop there. We're just going to move it to the outside, hold on to your short tail and pull tight. You can see as we're pulling tight the eyes are starting to sink in and move closer. That's what we want. We're going to repeat this process a second time. So in by two, out by four, loop our stitch on the outside and pull tight. Let's see when we're pulling tight this time, it's really starting to change the shape of our head. We're again going in by point three, out by point one, to loop our yarn on the outside of the eye again, so it can disappear under, pull tight, and yes, I believe that level of tightness will do the trick. So we're just going to go in by point two and we're going to maneuver our needle to come out at the same point where we started, where that short end of the yarn tail is sticking out. We're now going to knot these two tails together so that it doesn't come loose later on. Snip them off short. And we're just going to press that knot into the head to hide it. This is why we make them come out through the same stitch so that we're able to push it into the head and just 
hide it. So this is what your head should look like at this point for Kylie the Koala. As you can see, the needle sculpting has changed our shape considerably. And that's what we want.